This pandemic has been hard for everybody. Uh, we've all struggled one way or another, and Elephant Jungle Sanctuary is no different. In fact, COVID-19 has had huge implications for all domestic elephants here in the kingdom. As covered in a previous video, <laughs> hello darling, it's simply not an option to release them into the forests. So with that in mind, and with no income coming in from tourism, just how do you pay for 200 kilograms of food per elephant or pay for the care that they require 24 hours a day? Many have taken drastic measures to ensure the care for their elephants. Here at EJS, we have worked overtime to ensure that our elephants still get the standard of care that they expect and deserve. Hi, my name is Michael and on today's video, we're going to be talking about just what it's like to be in a sanctuary without visitors for over a year, what challenges we've had to face and what we've done to combat the issues. At the start of this pandemic, we made this video. That was over 12 months ago. During that time, the Thai government brought in extremely tough and strict measures with regards to receiving international flights. As you can imagine, this had a huge impact on tourism and pretty soon we started receiving fewer and fewer guests and in time, hardly any at all. It became clear that in order for our sanctuary to survive, some of our locations were gonna need to close. The closure of camps meant that we had a new jumbo problem. What happens to all the elephants in those camps? Well, we moved them. Many elephant jungle sanctuary locations remain operational and fortunately, we have been able to relocate the elephants from our closed camps to the other locations with large enough areas to accommodate them comfortably. Elephants like Lam Yai here, after a quick settling in period, she quickly made new friends and it's as if nothing ever happened before. Food was always gonna be one of the biggest problems here. Each elephant can eat over 200 kilograms of food every single day. And when you've got 80 plus individuals, those numbers get quite high. In the wild, it's not a problem. They have many kilometers to roam where they can get different kinds of food to maintain a balanced diet. Here in captivity, it's slightly different. We're lucky to be surrounded by lush tropical rainforest, but even that wasn't enough. And very quickly, it became clear that we needed more help. We tried to grow a lot of our own food. Our grounds, however, just cannot grow the food fast enough to sustainably feed 80 plus elephants. So we had to go searching for it instead. Every day, our mahouts will go out and cut the grass for their elephants. The problem still remains, however. Our elephants just eat so much food that it cannot be grown fast enough locally either. As the pandemic has gone on, the daily grass cutting trips have become further and further away. As well as the mahouts literally going the extra mile, local elephant jungle sanctuary supporters have also offered us their overgrown gardens as snacks for our residents, helping the elephants and getting a free gardening service. With all that amazing work going on, guess what? It still wasn't enough to fill up our giants. It was clear that we were gonna to have to start buying more and more food in. However, with attendance so low, affording it was gonna be our number one ongoing issue. So we had to get creative and think of new ways to help our elephants. The locals have been amazing. Our cafe started offering promotions, so not only customers could enjoy the environment of the cafe, 
but they could also have the chance to go out and observe the elephants in some of our feeding areas. But we wanted to offer more than just tea and coffee. Food plays a major role in day-to-day -day life here in Thailand. In fact, it's much more common to ask, instead of, how are you, to ask, have you eaten yet? With that in mind, we opened up some noodle cafes with the idea that we could encourage new people in and while feeding their bellies, fill the bellies of our residents as well. At the beginning of 2021, we also started doing Cameo videos. These give the chance for people all around the world to get custom video messages from us in return for a small contribution. The popularity of these videos has been incredible and, along with our other new ventures, really have helped us out through difficult times. And then there's you. Yes, you, our international supporters. The contributions we've received from you guys over the last 18 months really have been incredible. It's not an over-exaggeration to say that without your help, that little light at the end of the tunnel that we now have might not be there at all. As cheesy as it sounds, genuinely, thank you from all of us here at Elephant Jungle Sanctuary and all of our residents. Our fight is far from over. If you would like to join the Elephant Jungle Sanctuary herd and help us continue caring for our residents, you can do so by visiting the links in the comments section. You will find a number of different ways to contribute, including the purchase of vouchers for future visits, EJS merchandise, or elephant food care packages. Remember that we are open, so be sure to check out our website or social media platforms for up-to-date information and promotions. You can also join us live in one of our regular streaming sessions straight from one of our camps. Take care, see you soon.